Hello! Today we're going to make a fast and easy meal that I like to make um, when you don't really have much time and but you still want something that's nice and fresh and delicious. It is the chicken. Lemon what chicken. You are. Uh, I always use chicken thighs, but you can use breasts or whatever you have in your kitchen. One lemon, uh, olive oil, cornmeal, lemon pepper seasoning, salt and pepper. And that is all First, we want to mix up our dredge. So just pour out some cornmeal. And for my dredging station, I always use these little takeout containers because they're large and flat. But you need about that much cornmeal. Um, I'd say that's about a cup. Uh, maybe less. Just depends on how many pieces of chicken you have. And you can always make up more dredge if you find you run out. And then this is uh, just McCormick Perfect Pinch Lemon Pepper. Um, I really like it because it's not too peppery. And need about three or four uh, tablespoons of that. This will be, this will change based on your taste. So then you just take a mixing apparatus and mix that up. already a lot of pepper and a lot of pepper, so make sure you gauge for that. Give that a final little stir, and then your dry dredge is all done. So then for your wet dredge, you just take olive oil and I'm probably going to use about a third of a cup because my basin is a little, there's a little step in my basin so you can't get all the stuff all the time. You'll probably use about, and then you want the juice of a lemon. So just cut your lemon in half. These are supposed to be seedless, but it's just a seed in there. Just, don't worry if you have seeds in here because you're not obviously going to consume it, even if it does get on your chicken. Obviously some lemons are juicier than others, so make sure that you get about two or three tablespoons of lemon. And then just beat that up. So there you go. Now you have your dredging station all prepared. You have your wet, and you have your dry, and you have your chicken. So let's heat the skillet. Just put enough um, olive oil down the bottom to get coat the bottom. And this is more to get um, flavor on the outside of the chicken than it is for anything else. Well, okay, so I have non-stick pans. So then all you're gonna do is take your chicken, lay it out nice and flat, and run it around in your wet mixture. Now shake it off so there's no excess, and then press it into your dry mixture. And then you leave that for about five minutes on each side. Um, you can flip it a couple of times just to make sure it's as brown as you want it. And yeah. All right, they're starting to look pretty brown. That was nice and brown.
All right, and that's what the finished product should look like. Bon appetit. Does my hair look crazy enough?